she is complicit. She's a criminal. She's been around for many, many years. Since the 50s, she was, uh, I think, the queen. I don't know when uh, her, who that other guy was. I should know these names better. Um, King George the Sixth. Is that her dad? Um, all right. And then there was King George. Oh, we don't we don't know the King George the Fifth that well, do we? So the guy we see a lot of that was the Sixth, King George the Sixth. The uh, the Nazi sympathizer was was that him? That's confusing. Um, this is why I'm not making so many blogs, uh, video blogs lately. They're not that easy. I trip over my words. Some moron in California was uh, playing with weapons outside of a window. He seemed to be simulating a domestic terror attack. What an idiot. I saw someone doing that about uh, 25 years ago. Looking back, I never thought he was going to shoot at us. I thought he was just showing off. But to do that nowadays, are you kidding me? People are so dumb. And cops are dumb. They killed the UPS driver. They went nuts. They started shooting all over the place into traffic. I feel bad for that UPS driver. And his dad is backing him up and asking for some justice. They didn't mention the uh, the other guy too much. Got his name. I think it's uh, Rick Cutshaw. One, one second, please. Yep, he's uh, Rick Cutshaw. Daily Mail isn't really covering that part of it. They've got the news story today. They're talking about all these UPS drivers uh, heading out to the funeral. But they don't mention Rick Cutshaw. And today we are also hearing from the family of the other innocent driver who was killed after getting caught in the crossfire. And they say he was just a couple of years away from retiring. Local 10's Ian Margul is live now in Pembroke Pines with more for us. Ian. Calvin Christie, his name was Rick Cutshaw. He is 70 years old and again, yes, just two years away from retirement. His family, friends and neighbors here in Pembroke Pines are devastated. You gotta be kidding me. People in Pembroke Pines reacting to the news that their neighbor, Rick Cutshaw, was the innocent bystander killed during the shootout in Miramar on Thursday. The neighbor sent me a picture of his car and I said, oh my God, I think that's him. Lincoln Hervella says Rick has lived in their quiet neighborhood for years and although he usually kept to himself, he says Rick was always friendly. Lovely guy, just kind of quiet, lives alone. Doesn't come out much. Rick spent decades working as a union rep, most recently at the Office and Professional Employees International Union. And a family friend sent us this statement that says in part, quote, Uncle Rick was always there for you if and when you needed him. Always greeting you with a big hug and a smile with a twinkle in his blue eyes. Rick would love to make you laugh. We will cherish the many memories we have made with him over the years. He will be greatly missed by our family. And he will be greatly missed by so many others. He is survived by two sisters, two brothers, a 99-year-old mother, and a lot of friends who loved him very much. We have learned that he worked in Miramar, so it's very possible that he was on his way home when that shooting happened yesterday. Live in Pembroke Pines, I'm Ian Margul, Local 10 News.